Hello, and welcome to the Darby Creek Diaries. I'm Gail Thompson, and I'm so glad that you stopped by, and I hope everything's going great with you. I like to slip in every now and then between bigger videos and do some quick tips. Today we're going to metal emboss with Distress Embossing Glazes. They are like embossing powders, only they're translucent. Translucent means that you can see through it. Normal embossing powder, most of it, is opaque, which means you can't see through it. But the properties of this mean that it'll go over the top of something and you'll still be able to see the thing underneath and it enhances the color and it just gives another layer of texture. Now, in order to do this, you need Distress Collage Medium because we need to have something for the embossing powder to stick to and this dries, uh, and I was watching some of Tim Holtz's videos about this, and it's the best thing because it'll hold the embossing powder on. But you only want a really light layer. Too much is as, as bad as none at all. And you can just dump the powder over it and kind of shake it off. Those beads are just metal junky beads that you can get at Michael's or you know Joann's or one of those places. Then I'm bringing my heat tool to it, and I get it a little bit warmed up beforehand. And it's really fun to watch just how fast it goes. And these pieces are really, really hot too, and just ask me how I know. So those little jewels, make sure they're metal. I think plastic might not hold up under the embossing gun very well. And here is our first bead. Isn't that pretty? So now we're going to use, this is just kind of a junk brush and just put a little bit of the embossing or the collage paste. Like I said, you can do this multiple times too. You can layer it up as many times as you want, but you will start losing the detail of the piece underneath. It'll just start turning into a blob. And here we go with the embossing tool again. And like magic, it looks like embossed metal. Well, I guess it technically would be embossed metal. Now I'm going to do a hinge, and Tim Holtz was showing us how to do that as well. Uh, you can just take a chipboard or something, put a little bit of the collage medium on it, and now I'm going to apply the collage medium to the piece, and I just try to get into all those little nooks and crannies. Uh, it takes a, a little while, but it is doable, and the hinge still works when it's done too. And then this is Broken China. I think it's the, one of the most dramatic colors. And just dump her on and bring the heat tool to it and let it do its thing. Said this a dozen times, and if you've been with me a while, you've heard me say, embossing is what brought me into paper crafting or card making. I've always been a crafter. That's up one that hasn't been touched on the left, and then there's one on the right, and then there's me pulling off a very hot piece of metal because I have no common sense. It gets super, super hot, and you can pull the distress. Collage doesn't, it seems to come off really easily. Now here are our finished beads and our hinge, and for like two seconds worth of work and really inexpensive stuff, You've got some cool little things to stick on your projects. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you'll come back and see me. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your enemies. I hope you're keeping cool in the heat and that you're staying well and safe and that you have a fabulous week. Send someone a card. Bye-bye. Oh, by the way, I'll be back soon with several videos. Bye-bye.